you know it probably looks like we're currently in some kind of uh, landfill site or some waste disposal area in uh, uh, like we see in the UK but we're literally currently inside a IDP camp in uh, Aden um, the internally displaced persons are actually living in this site and you know this is so um, it's so emotional to actually see this you see you know young children um, who are actually living in these conditions um, and I've, I've found it quite emotional actually to be here you know uh, we're used to so much luxuries living in the West um, and in the UK um, and then to think that you know people are living uh, in these really uh, basic basic conditions um, you know these are literally homes of Yemeni families um, who are currently residing in them with the young children and you know with, with the mothers and fathers they're all support uh, Muslim charity over the last 12 months alone we have provided food packs food distributions to 16,000 plus people alhamdulillah and you know these food packs water distributions bread distributions these are so vital um, why because uh, two-thirds of the population in Yemen Yemen has a population of close to 30 million people two-thirds of the population so that's 20 million people don't know where the next meal will come from they literally do not know where the next meal meal will come from we hear a lot about you know food insecurity food insecurity um, and you sometimes might wonder what that means but that literally does mean that they do not know where the next meal will come from and that's why it's important alongside our other projects of long-term sustainability and, and we're doing you know projects which we, which we will show to you uh, with the with the business startups and, and, and establishing small businesses for the people of Yemen um, it's so important side by side within this emergency we do need to continue providing food water bread to the people of Yemen